Welcome to Chuck Builds. Today we're going to be installing Z-Wave onto Home Assistant using our Zoo's Z-Wave stick so Home Assistant can talk to items like this Z-Wave smoke detector. Follow along to find out how. In order to use Z-Wave on Home Assistant, you'll need a Z-Wave coordinator. I'm recommending the Zoo's Z-Wave stick. Uh, this is the 7 Series. I've used it without fail for about a year now and it's been super easy to set up. I think it's worth the money. I do not recommend the combo sticks like the Nortec. I tried that one which is a combo Z-Wave Zigbee stick and I had no luck getting that to work uh, reliably. So. Zoos has got my vote. I'm sure there's something else out there that's great, but I just haven't had any issues with it. Um, you would also benefit from having a USB extension cord. This will allow you to get the antenna inside of the Zoo stick away from interference, such as the actual computer it's running on and away from any other electrical interference just by physically getting it further away. Um, so that's Highly recommended. Uh, for the Z-Wave stick, I'm not sure if it's as useful as Zigbee. That seems to be like the biggest recommendation for Zigbee is to get it away from the computer. Um, Z-Wave, I've had it plugged in directly to my tower without any bad luck so far, but if you just seem to be lacking range, that'll definitely help. As far as devices that use Z-Wave, I have very few. My most common device would be this First Alert Z-Wave uh, smoke detector and CO2 detector. Um, I have these so that I can use my connected alarm system and detect fire and call the police if I need to or fire department. And then the only other item that I have that Z-Wave is my smart locks from August. The older generation had Z-Wave built in and the newer generations don't. So of my three August locks, only two of them can use Z-Wave. If you're considering buying any of these products that I mentioned in my video, I will have a link in the description for an Amazon affiliates link where I'll get a small commission if you purchase it through my link. You don't have to, but if you're going to buy it anyway, I'd greatly appreciate it. It would support me and this channel. So I'm just going to take the Zoo stick and plug it in. All right. So we've connected our Z-Wave coordinator to Home Assistant and we'll go to Settings, Devices and Services. And we'll do a quick check to see if it's showing up here, but I don't think it is. So I'll go to Add Integration in the bottom right hand corner and I'll start typing Z-Wave and I will click on this top Z-Wave. It'll ask if we want to install the Z-Wave JS Supervisor add-on and I'll click Submit and we'll wait for this to finish. Once it's finished loading, it's going to pop up and ask us to choose our USB device path. Here I can see the second option is my Zoo's Z-Wave stick, so I'll be selecting that. And then I'll click Submit. So Z-Wave JS has successfully been added as an integration, and it's asking for me to choose an area for these devices. I'm going to leave it alone right now, and if you only see the USB controller, that's to be expected. These additional nodes are from my existing Z-Wave network that I use for my personal home assistant, not just this one for the videos. So I'll click Finish. So we'll click on Z-Wave here in our integrations, and we can see that we have four devices, one of which is the USB controller, and the other three are my smoke detectors that I have in my house on my other network, so we can ignore those safely for now. So I've just inserted batteries into my first alert Z-Wave smoke detector and we'll go into Z-Wave JS and click add device and it's going to search for the device which prompts you to follow the instructions that came with it to trigger pairing. For me that's going to be really loud uh, when I hold this button and my dog hates it so I'm going to do the alternative of scanning the QR code which does exist on the back of the device. Oh god. So that beep on the last clip was actually the smoke detector connecting to the Z-Wave stick. It automatically searched once I put the batteries in and it connected right away. Uh, we, we can see here that we went from having three empty nodes to two empty nodes and that one of them was populated with the Z-Combo smoke CO alarm. 
If we click on this, we can see that the smoke detected is clear, the carbon monoxide detected is cleared, a few other entities here, and uh, the battery level and its node status. So Z-Wave goes to sleep pretty often and will check in on the change of status. And that is something to be aware of when you're using Z-Wave devices that you might have to press one of these buttons here to wake it up, such as ping. And uh, we can see here that it was pinged when I press that button and it will check in and update the battery level and other statuses there. They're really good at changing their entity when they've detected something, but that's how they save power is by going to sleep often. But the second this detected smoke, it would send that update immediately with no delay. I hope you found this video useful and you've installed Z-Wave JS if that's what you've been trying to do. If you're just trying to get more informed about the options available to you, especially in regards to wireless protocols, I've got some closing comments and thoughts on that. I've been using Z-Wave JS for about a year and only use it for my smoke detectors. I at one point tried to use two of my August locks but ended up taking them off because it didn't make sense to only use two and not the other two. So I just used the August integration for that and just use them for smoke detection. I'm glad I have them. I needed a smart solution to get the smoke detector into Home Assistant to call the authorities if needed. I expected Z-Wave to have more products available at a nicer price than what I ended up finding. For almost every Z-Wave device, I found a Zigbee device that was cheaper and if it needed power, such as lights, it would expand my network. I think for $30, Z-Wave is worth having. <laughs> the stick isn't that expensive. It's not hard to set up. It's nice to have the option there if something were to come along that I could use it. But in the year I've had it, I haven't really found any devices that jump out at me. If you use Z-Wave and have a device that you strongly recommend, please let me know in the comments because I'd love to check it out. Thanks for watching.